Cause I just I had a I had to talk to the composer this morning, cause he's like he said, composer again. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he like yeah, cause he's like co-producer on the next project. So how many how many movies do you have? Or how many of those projects do you have? In the works, or like on my list? Out. Well, both. Let, let's start out with the out, and then we'll. Go I think with I the... have. Uh, let's see. Quite about maybe like five short films. I've done like seven short films, but there was like two that didn't make it. Okay. So, so like, what short films? Like how long? Like are you anything about? under fifty minutes is considered a short film. So, but these are like five, ten minutes. Okay. I know okay. I got one on. There's. I'm gonna say this. Like there's there's a short film called Brenda. That I made that you did? Okay. Based off Tupac's story. Word. It has like eighty five thousand views right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not overly fond of it because the visuals could have been better. But everybody likes it. Everybody loves it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like people like they showed it. People they showed it in the audience. People just cry. Mm. <laughs> That's how I feel about like some of the earlier WTV yeah, yeah, yeah. TV shit. Cause like a lot of people's fucking with it. I guess cause they you know they they think I'm pretty cool or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like they kicking and clapping. Episode one looks horrible. <laughs> I went back to look like man, I can make this look so much better. Like this shit looks like trash. Remember, like, you know who Issa Rae is, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I, I, went, I seen one of her earlier videos. That just looked horrible too. Like it was all overexposed and I look at it like HBO. Hey, low key fuck Issa Rae. Really? <laughs> Cause two reasons. I think it was a joke though. So I think one of them was a joke so don't take it too serious. That one that she wrote in her book about how Black woman I heard about like, that. I, was, I think I that was a joke, so I don't care. I didn't about that. dive into it. No, that's like a that's like a ha ha fake fuck you. But the real fuck you is on um, Insecure season two. Y'all just wrote Tasha out of there. Why? <laughs> you like you watch Insecure? No, I watch Insecure. We can't have it's that like, conversation. It's like, it's like a personal beef you got going. You Tasha was cold, man. Tasha was a good woman. Lawrence stupid ass. That's like, he a fucking dummy. The reason why I can say that is because ha ha. As many people tried to make that correlation, Lawrence and Torrance is really close. And yeah, I did a whole bunch of dumb shit before. And I did some stupid shit just like that. But all he had to do was not that. <laughs> Basically, like, he went to this, um, he went to, like, a family barbecue with this girl. He was, you know, fucking, but, like, they were getting serious. Mm-hmm. Not so much serious, but, like, they would have probably got there, right? Okay. Eventually, maybe. Um, but she was like, yeah, you know, it's this family barbecue, whatever, one, one. He agreed to go. Mm-hmm. He went. And did like because he he went to like some work shit, but he went and showed up and did. Mm-hmm. So of course he was like, "I'm coming back." He never came back. So you know she got upset. Whatever. Duh, right? Mm-hmm. Because anybody's gonna get mad at that if if my girl come over here and she said, "Oh, I'll be right back," and she don't come back. I'm like, "Well, you could have just said you weren't coming back, right? Or you could just not came." <laughs> so that's my beef, like nigga. You could have just not went because like I had a situation. Almost identical to that, but the problem was nobody asked where I went, so I thought I was good. Mm-hmm. But when I got back, everybody was mad, nigga. Even the dog was mad. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got back. It, it, my girlfriend at the time, her little sister was going to homecoming or some shit. And they was like, everybody come over and see her off. So I'm usually a pretty good person. So I, you know, I went and got some balloons and some shit. Came on car. Well, mm-hmm. y'all want to go around and step around the yard and shit and take pictures. I don't really want to take pictures with y'all. Mm-hmm. I felt like I was like the new puppy because it was like, oh, you're such a girlfriend or boyfriend. No, hey, oh, yeah, look at him. Yeah. Look at his shoes. Like, yeah, I'm like, ah. Yeah. Oh. So I'm sitting there in turmoil. I look across the street. I see my nigga car. I forgot his parents stayed over there. Mm-hmm. I seen his car. So I'm like, I'll be back. Like, they all going mm-hmm. to a new situation in the yard. They going to step up new to take new pictures. And I'm like, all right, I'll be back. I just went over there. We was drinking whiskey. I <laughs> <laughs> was drinking rum. We was drinking that cracking so shit. So you left, you left the party and went to. <laughs> you got funny. the fuck out of there, but nigga. So, but nobody said nothing. Nobody. She ain't never text me like where you at or mm-hmm. call me where you at. My car was there. I never nothing ever left besides me. She sounds like she's a secure woman, aren't you? Right. Yeah, or, really so I woman. thought. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I so think I I'm thought. good. Nigga, when I got back. <laughs> nigga. But Nobody asked. Like I'm thinking, Nobody I'm thinking said, somebody. Okay? She you... knows this. Y'all been neighbors. Like she mm-hmm. happens to know because she's been hanging out with all of us included. Like she mm-hmm. knows. I know. So you could have just put two and two together. Like, oh, he across the street. Mm-hmm. Well, he sent you a text. Hey, tell me where you at. Where are if you? If I want to know where you at, go call you. Hey, where are you? Yeah, exactly. If I'm okay with wherever you are, I'm not gonna text you. You know. Sometimes, like, you could just simplify things and just ask a question. <laughs> Communication. Communication. We talked about that. Communication. Oh, is, 
Communication saves so much time. Like you save so much time. Common sense is a time saver. Yes. Tell me about it. Some people get mad at me because they say I'm, I'm brutally honest. But the thing is, like, I don't want to waste your time. Like, time is valuable to me, so I don't like wasting time. I don't have time That's to the, waste. The problem is dealing with people in a lot of in a lot of different situations where they don't understand their concept of time ain't the same as yours. Mm-hmm. Like, I was unfortunate enough to know, like, you know, my, I told you about earlier, like my older brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen that nigga go back and forth to jail. Mm-hmm. I remember when jail wasn't cool. Like, I remember I was, like, ashamed to tell people my brother was going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now looking back, like, you almost a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If niggas knew what my brother was doing, I could rap about it, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be, you know, the nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I understand how, how important time is because it's so important that they take it away from you. Mm-hmm. They make you go sit the fuck down. But however long they feel the like, the simplest it. things too. The simplest, simplest things. things. The people. It's a billion dollar industry now. I seen a thing on um, on Vice on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It was these like they strain hunters or something. Went off to some, you know, some ultra rare finding something. It was like in Africa something. Mm-hmm. And like just a natural ass weed they just grow. Mm-hmm. Just like some fucking onions in people's backyard. Just mm-hmm. like they almost don't even know what it is. You know, they know what it is, but. Mm-hmm. It ain't that important because that's just what that's just some shit they grow here. You know, we know oh, what it is, but they over there going to go get some fucking. You know, they are expecting the smelling and get the strongest, the strongest mm-hmm. of the strong. Along their way, they had to meet with these chiefs and pay these people. And at one point, like the last chief, he was like, "Hey, we heard all of that shit. They basically gave them add up to forty seven dollars, basically." Wow. And they were sitting there talking about like, yeah, you know, they had like a like they had the little pack rolls thing of seeds like mm-hmm. some 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 this is like four point five billion dollars. Wow. You just paid forty seven dollars. <laughs> oh, wow. You probably be on the show. Hmm? That nigga won't be famous. I know you can't be on the show. Man, if the money good enough, man, cause all nowadays it's just I feel like it's just people waiting to, to just say something about you. Mm-hmm. I see that nigga at Walmart. His pants was dirty. He poured out. Like, I was barbecuing. I had to go get some more charcoal. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about I think how the, I the problem is, is that we're in a world where everybody's so unhappy with themselves. True. And they just, when you are, because me, like, I'm I'm always, like, upbeat and positive. And, like, I see the face people look at me when I'm always smiling or whatever. Or if I'm saying, you know, how you doing? I'm happy and wonderful. And they be like, of course you are. Like, everybody's so sad. They want to see you sad. So it's ridiculous. I, um, we used to work at FedEx. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we early, early, early morning, right? I did that. Early morning. I did that job. Is that what you talking about? Loading trucks? Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Back, yeah, yeah. We was in the... Oh, pack just come swimming yeah, down? And- hell yeah. And I was at the top of that shit. Like, I used to be a splitter. Yeah. But um, it, every morning we had, like, a pre sort meet. Mm-hmm. You know, just talk about the numbers. Talk about, you know, who fucking up, who doing real well, whatever, yeah. every day. You know, we all in there in the morning. Like, a lot of people are, you know, different people are more awake or whatever it is, yeah. right? But... Damn, Mr. Paul, come on, cut. <laughs> um, this one you got like, cut. And I got to keep going because I'm going to forget. Yeah. But I don't care. This is how raw this shit is, I guess. But, um, <laughs> like, she, you know, she she never was, like, in a bad mood in the morning. Mm-hmm. And, like, one morning, like, this woman, like, literally was, like, upset about how how how, how pleasant this woman was in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like, why is she so happy at 4 o'clock in the morning? What the fuck? Like, exactly. Exactly. How Terrible. is how is that your business? Why is that your business? Like, why are you so upset about it? That's weird. Though. Oh, was like, yeah, a lot of people don't even, A lot of people don't know who they are. Too. Exactly. So like you meet young ladies and it's just like they are they are whoever who, they are whoever scissors telling them. Mm-hmm. They <laughs> he says scissors. You know what I'm saying? Is the that's very true. Like they let they let a lot of them concepts shape their lives, mm-hmm. and you know I guess we might be all guilty of that shit because you know a lot of like rap you know I I really relate to but. You know, some of that shit y'all need to not really live you to, by. You have to, uh, I always say it's like, you should, you have to, like, live in reality to be peaceful, to, you know, find some type of peace in your life. No, you're right. Um, like, how you, are, you know, you brutally honest or whatever. I got a homegirl, like, she said, like, I'm not, you know, people say I'm blunt, I'm not, whatever. I'm a realist. A lot of times that's what she say, so. But it's, I don't know, because it ain't, a lot of people think that, like, they might say it hurt my feelings, or that's mean. It ain't, but that's real. Like, that is real. You need to hear it. I mean, not that 
<laughs> you know, but I feel like people they like to live in this false bubble, and then yeah. when like, and then they try to figure out why they're sad, like because you're living in a like because your, that ain't you. That reality, ain't it. Like reality is not going nowhere. Your reality goes nowhere. No matter where you go, what country you go to, your reality is. Thing. You listen to Joe Budden at all? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, you do? Good. Oh. Good, 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 good. Thank you. I, I, I listened to him in a while, though. But, all right, so. Um, I know he has, he has a podcast. Yeah, his podcast, though. I'm talking about his, podcast, though. Talking about his music. He, mm-hmm. But he got this song. It's called I'm Only Human. Um, he, it's like a line. He says something. He's talking to his mama. Basically, before he kill himself. It's off of um, um, All Love Lost or Some Love Lost. Whatever got the look. The Cupid Dead on the cover. That's the one. But the song, he say, um, Mama say, wherever I go, I'm taking me with me. Mm-hmm. Like just that whole, that whole like, I will play it. What you want? You want to play it? I play it for I'm, you. I'm gonna find it. Um, but man, like that shit. Just basically like he, because you know Joe Budden is a real introspective yeah. artist, or right? introspective rapper. So, but you know I didn't like him when he first came out, like in 2003 when he was in high school. That was my like, shit. I like pump like it he, up or yeah, pump, yeah. Pump, yeah. I don't know. I like I liked him more better when he was doing the slaughterhouse thing. I'm like okay, that's yeah. But no, yeah. he see the thing was right. And I don't fault you. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I was just, I was a huge Just Blaze fan. Oh, that's one. That's album? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, I, uh, I was a huge Just Blaze fan, so, you know, when that shit came out. But that album was hard. Like, that's why I'm like, this nigga can really fuck a rap. Mm-hmm. He got a song called 10 Minutes. And he just rapping for 10 minutes, nigga, like, right. some shit. I don't like, think I was, like, back in high school, I don't think I was, like, that, like, aware of, like, lyrical ability until I got a little older. It's weird, man. I don't even get it. Like, like Beanie Siegel is my favorite rapper in like yeah. tenth grade. Like, I don't even. Like, why? The you fuck know what's is funny that? though? Like, when we was in high school, all our rappers were these rappers. They were good, like the Beanie, the Jada. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ludacris. Like everybody was still rapping. Yeah. Even our worst rappers are still better than today's rappers. It's a lot of good rappers out here. Though. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of good ones out here though. But you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that as well. I remember. I remember, I remember one time I just, I just started listening to Jada Kids, right? Just. All Jada kids is like I'm like he has not changed his style like at all. I went back to like the first album he dropped. It's weird, right? Yeah. Because you write, but like I hate that from some artists. Yeah. Like I don't really like that from from Rick Ross. Like I, I get I, tired I, of that shit from Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. I sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Like I sometimes get tired of that shit from mm-hmm. Jada kids because Jada kids get on that on that old Lil Wayne stuff on some songs mm-hmm. where it's just like a. Ain't nothing really tying together. Mm-hmm. He's just saying shit. It's just, you know, I'm coming through in the whatever, whatever, whatever on the plane. It's like, you're just in the car. Are you in the plane? Are you in the sky now? Which is fine. But, you know, make it make sense to yeah. me, Jada Kiss. But, but like, I like I like a Jada, I like a good Jada Kiss verse. Mm-hmm. A good Rick Ross verse, I'd be like, mm, it's just a good Rick Ross verse. Like, I, I like a good Jada Kiss verse, but I just meant at a good Rick Ross verse. Yeah. I don't know why, though. I like Rick Ross. I'm a huge Rick I, Ross I've fan. I've never been a fan of Rick but, Ross. I, I, like remember, I remember it was like uh, something he said on a Ludacris album. He was like, uh, it take, what, 5,000 to fill his 100 cars, a gas tank, something like that. I'm like, I'm like, even at, like, even a premium, bro, you lying. Like, that didn't cost I mean, duh. Like <laughs> I think he used to be a CEO. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that Officer Ricky, like, I, that's when I, because I used to be a real big Rick Ross fan. And then, like, that shit came out, and I was like, oh, man, like, that's a little weird. But, um, when I, because I had a beard before a lot of people had beards, so once that, once, once Everybody that nigga, you know, beard. once he got really popular, I was in the game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> man. Gross. That's just so weird. You know, I, I randomly freestyle for no reason. I just be red, like, for no reason in the car. I gotta have a beat. Just, like, a beat gotta be on. Like, I'll yeah. make up, I'll make up a beat. And I'll just be... <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, well, sometimes, like, if a rhyme come to me, I yeah, can look good. For some reason, like, rhymes, just, I just... They just all the time. Yeah, no, yeah. No reason. That is. I used to I used to have um, ambitions of being a rapper way, way, way back in the day. Ambitions of a rapper, rapper, rapper. But, um, so what exactly... So now we can start the interview. Um, <laughs> what, what... Am I... I don't even know how many you got, you got questions or something? You I do. Oh, okay. I do. But um, the Porch, episode two...